technology, transportation, and regional commodity specialization defined 20th century agriculture. These trends favored larger farms that shipped food ever greater distances to market. Many state family farmers, especially poultry and dairy operators, couldn't compete with the large food processors and stopped farming, often selling their land to developers. Former state legislator Jack Tiffany is the fifth generation owner of Tiffany Farms, founded in 1841. Each day brings a new challenge and something different. That's, I think, what keeps a lot of farmers going. When I was a kid, there was probably 15, 18 dairy farms in the town of Lyme. Today, we're the only dairy farm left, and we're producing more milk than those 15 or 18 farms did by, by far more milk. Um, but you gotta ask whether the town is better off. Yeah, just take one truck we were milking by hand in 1940. Now there's these tremendous parlors. Right after World War II, they went to the bulk tanks, and that really separated the men from the boys. A lot of farmers refused to make that investment and decided that they would hang it up. Just been tremendous change. And whether you like it or not, I suspect this change is going to accelerate. And that is kind of scary. I don't think there's a handful of dairy farms in the state of Connecticut that are making money. There's a few that are breaking even, and there's a bunch that are losing money. I've got a son and a daughter here. They're into purebreds, and that's been part of our salvation. We're selling uh, embryos overseas now higher priced animals.